So what I'm seeing here, Leo, is that you're very worried and very up in your head. And we have a lot of worry, losing sleep, okay? Nine of Swords, Gemini energy, all up in your head, feeling as though you've made some sort of mistake. This is about manifesting something that you've been working towards for a long time. You're very concerned about it. It looks as though you've already manifested a beautiful job, you know, a certain degree of wealth or abundance and you're now worried about it. So let's look at this, this energy that I see. It looks that some of you are looking for a new job or some pay, some contract or payday that's going to be better than what you've had. This is a contract, I'm reading this as Libra energy, a contract about give and take, equal give and take, services rendered, uh, in a contract for pay, for something fair. And I'm combining that because I see the Empress with the Eight of Coins, something you're working on. I get that you're very grateful for the people around you. I get that you're very grateful for all of the people that you've worked with. Some of these people are your best friends. And yet there's this restless energy that you have that it's time to move forward. This can be in the area of romance, relationships, again, anything that you value, but look at that beautiful energy. But it is a card that looks as though you're having a celebratory time as you start to move slowly forward and walking away from this energy. Look at this. We have you, am I showing this the right way? Yeah, okay. So we see you slowly walking into your future. You know, on the table it's reversed. But we see you walking into your future and leaving some friendships behind. Or you're thinking about it. Because what I see is that you're at a crossroads. You need to make a decision. But you want more satisfaction at work. You want more abundance. You're in a state of exhaustion right now. You want to have more adventures in life. And Leo, you need more expression, more, more ability to be who you really are, to shine brightly. It is not an easy decision to walk away, but this is very much something you feel you must do. It looks as though something that once made you very, very happy. Look at that. You know, you've had this beautiful energy and abundance and you're very grateful. You're so grateful for it, Leo. But right now, you're in this feeling. When we look at the Four of Cups and the Eight of Cups, there's such a gap in the happiness that you're really seeking. It's almost as though you're all work and no play, or it feels that way. It feels as though you have someone or somebody around you, and I think it's this empress, that you wanna travel towards. You wanna work on something with this person, whether it, this is a feminine energy, if it's a person, but it's also a dream job of some sort of its career. It's your ability to manifest and have self-expression, right? Leo, that's who you are. The fifth house. The Empress comes to the fifth house and she just left the fifth house. And she that's where she gets pregnant. She has a romance. She creates this abundance by, become, by becoming fertilized with the egg, which can be an idea, a concept, anything you want to manifest. Could be a baby, technically. But we're looking at you really afraid of what's going to happen if you pack it in, if you let go of the burdens that you've been facing. We see that you really want to do this, and yet you're very fearful of it. It's Sagittarius energy. The desire to travel long distances, the desire to create a very different life from your, for yourself compared to what you've had in recent years. Your outcome card right now is the feeling that there's no right answer. That though you've lost three cups and there's two cups remaining, 
you still feel so torn you can't you don't feel as though you can take action which of course is where we started with the general energy the nine of swords being up in your head it's a very beautiful reading because you know what you want and what you want is glorious and it's beautiful for many of you this may be the time in your life when it's called a midlife crisis or a crisis of courage but I don't think you're very courageous so that's not it but it's almost as though for your happiness you're afraid you're going to sacrifice the happiness of others so I'm going to take a look at wisdom of the Oracle and we're going to clarify all the cards and we're going to look into the details and see what we can come up with you for possible solutions and advice your re feeling of regret is based on the fact that you've been so blessed and you don't want to appear to have a lack of gratitude okay i'm going to go ahead and give you the table shot here so you have this energy of remorse regret feeling sad because you really know how lucky you've been Okay, let's look and see why the Empress is here. Why is the Empress here for our beautiful Leos? Poised. Oh, you're so poised. You're so ready for the self-expression. You're so ready for the abundance that's in the ethers of your life right now. It's so close to you. You could just touch it. It's here. It's poised. It's ready. It's literally the ripe fruit hanging from the vine. Tick tock, you feel as though you're under time limitations. You know that this opportunity won't be here forever. So you really feel a really strong sense of time ticking. The clock is ticking. What will you do? Justice card says that it is clarified by flexibility. So the justice card is any contract or legal obligation you have to another be it a marriage, be it a partnership, anything that you have that has a legal overtone, be it, you know, a lot of us, it's a career or a job that we want to move to, which I think is really impacting you right now. I do think you'd like to leave an employer with whom you've adored working with because you need more money. You're not getting enough. You're feeling as though you're not making it. And yet, here you are, you're at a fork in the road with this energy. And we have the Two of Wands, that's a fork in the road. And what you see as a possibility is glamorous and golden and beautiful. You have so many ideas coming to the edge. Your friends are probably likely to advise against it. And yet, for most of you, you absolutely know that you have one or two friends who have envisioned this with you. You have, it's almost like a vision board, and you have two other people in your energy that would support this, this vision you have for yourself, the risk that you have to take. The Virgo energy is, again, very much about day-to-day -day life problem solving, but Virgo energy is your second house, so it has to do with money and everything you value. Treasure Island. You want to go to your Treasure Island. You want a place of much more emotional stability and calm and fruitfulness and joy. Regeneration. You feel very much that you're in a very scorpionic time. That whatever you do when you make this decision, you feel as though you're going to be in this energy of not being able to come back. This is scorched earth. You feel as though if you make this decision to have what you need, what you want, in your soul's journey, that you will burn some bridges that can never be regained. Four of Cups energy is clarified by milk and honey. You've given so much to others, Leo. You really have. You've given so, so much away, milk and honey. You've lived a rich life. You have great gratitude. And yet, it pulls at your heart. The Eight of Cups energy is about 
the absolute difficulty of walking away, just the pain and the gripping energy of walking away from a time and a place and a space in your life that you have had, that you thought you would want forever, that you would have forever. But you have a deep knowing. You know that it's time to go. You know that it's time to stop this sort of just finding pleasure where you can. You want something more fulfilling. You're looking for that yin energy, that feminine part of yourself that's receptive. Instead of always putting yourself out there and giving to others, you would like to receive more. And we see that it's very celebratory energy. You have this. This is part of what I'm predicting for your future. It's celebration. Going from the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups. It is the right thing to do for those of you who are ready to do it. The truth be told is that a change is in the wind. The wind can't be stopped. Destiny can't be stopped and you know that. What we know, this is very Plutonian and very Scorpionic energy right now, but this card of regeneration really tells the story. What are you poised for? Who is this Empress? What is this Empress for you? What is going on with the Empress? You're poised and ready to make a decision. The Queen of the Day, a feminine energy. A feminine energy that is probably one of your best friends who encourages you to be flexible and dream your dreams. Why do we have you as being so worried over your blessings? You know how blessed you are. What is the energy here, please, Spirit, tell us. Star Fairy, you know that you've lived a beautiful life. You know that you have gratitude. You have every reason to be grateful, and you are. What is the energy of TikTok? Let's see what we have. The green woman is waiting. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. The star is all about healing energy. Somebody came into your life that has a healing effect on you. Blessings. This could be an entity, it could be spirit, it could be a person, it could be a friend, it could be your inner work that you've done for yourself, healing, but you are reaching this point of no return. You're staying flexible. Let's take a look at coming to the edge. What is it that you need to come to the edge about? You can't do it. The Eight of Swords to the Nine of Swords. When we get to the Ten of Swords, though, you will make the you will make the journey. It shows here that you will make this choice at the end of the day, but I don't see you doing it right away. The child, the child that has brought you, or the children that have brought you so much happiness. This is such an incredible reading. But here you are. The Magician card trumps the Devil card. Leo, the Magician card trumps the Devil card. You are a magician withholding and handling everything that you value. Virgo, the sign on your second house of all that you value, is the magician card in the tarot deck. You are enjoying this energy. You have the power to make it happen. You tell yourself that it's BS when you have a thought process along these lines. But the devil card is telling you along with the changes in the wind and truth be told that the queen of passage is undeniable the devil card makes you feel as though the fairy of naughtiness is going to bring a punishment or a karmic justice to you you're not sure but you feel very much that you don't have a choice that circumstances may just take over destiny the captive man here you go very much the energy the captive man very much the energy of knowing that maybe you should have left a situation a long time ago and you weren't able to do it let's look and see where your heart space energy is at 
Where are you in your journey of love? If this is a person, place or thing, you will determine how these cards apply to you. What is it? Leo, tell us about this journey in love. Whether it's a love of, or a passion for a creative project or how you earn money or taking a risk that you do not think that your family can endure. Something that just could take too much away from those that you love. Taking the chance. Coming together. You want your family to come together. You want everyone to come together to agree on this. Shakti. You are seeking the wisdom of the ages to help you. You may have a spiritual advisor. Let's look at the Empress, the blood dance. Oh, goodness. The blood dance, the very life of who you feel you are is at stake. There's so much at stake with this choice. Let's see what the regeneration card is. Contemplation, contemplating. Will your life change in ways that are manageable? Will you be able to have the wisdom to make the passage? Let's look and see how the people around you will be affected by this and their journey. Let's see what you have here. Sweet soul rising, look at this. You will have support, you will have love. It will not necessarily be right away. It will take everybody a deep breath. Yin Yang lover, oh my God. This is for many of you who are in a complicated situation. This is the heartfelt desire to come together with somebody who balances out your energy perfectly with theirs. Man of Earth, Woman of Sky. Oh wow, that's Earth sign, Air sign energy. One more card here, Spirit, and then we're going to ask for an Ancestors and Angels Advice card. Earth Angel, oh my God, you have an Earth Angel. The Earth Angel. The breaking, the temple. This person is your home. Let's see what your ancestors have in store to say for you. I don't see you acting, Leo, at this time. You're going to think this through. You're going to think it through completely. But the cards are telling you, I think the future is not going to give you an option. I feel like spirit is calling you for a transformation in the Phoenix Rising. The Shalom Master, be graceful in movement and action. Bask in joy and light. What can spirit help our Leos with with this transition should they decide to make it? Exchange energy to create abundance. So for many of you, this is simply going to be a change of career. For others of you, I think the story is yet untold. Sending you love. Bye-bye.